so uh, okay guys uh, i'm going to show how to analyze some malware using windows environment so most of the time uh, malware analyzers use uh, linux environment uh, kali linux uh, ubuntu this environment but uh, i'm going to show how to analyze some malware using windows so you need uh, you need two windows uh, virtual machines so uh, windows 7 and windows xp this is my infected machine the malware infected machine so to do this uh, malware analyze you need a flare vm you need to install a flare vm to your windows 7 so i'm going to use to do this malware analysis this uh, volatility uh, tool so guys uh, let's start this malware analyze so before uh, i'm going to use this infected uh, machine so this is the malware infected machine machine uh, windows xp machine uh, i'm going to get a dump value dump memory in this uh, uh, infected machine so this is a dump it uh, software dump it tool you need this dump it tool to get this dump value uh, go to command prompt uh, go to this uh, folder this uh, inside this uh, dump it folder uh, this is my path to this folder uh, dump it and I'm going to run this dump it exe file it's asked why continue you need to press uh, y it is processing you can see the image file it takes some time don't do the anything after pop up uh, successful in uh, this command prompt we need to wait for that so uh guys you can get uh, malwares uh, some free malwares i'll show you some website after the video after do this video is success so now we can get this uh, dumb uh, value you can uh, copy it to your pen drive you don't you don't need to worry this uh, uh, it's uh, not infected your uh, pen drive because this is an image file so I'm going to rename it to this Tilina. Or you need to copy it to your pen drive and you can or you can uh, share it sh using share folder you can share it to your uh, Windows 7 machine also so you can copy it to your you need to copy it to your Windows 7 machine so guys uh, I have already copied to your my uh, Windows 7 machine so I'm uh, yeah this 4 and 6 you can see I have copied that uh, ma ma that dump memory to this Windows 7 machine so now I'm going to run this uh, volatility tool you need to that uh, copy it to that your volatility folder okay is run it is running okay is finished so let's see these are the helping words what are the options h help uh, d debug uh, f file name and uh, the location what are the profiles uh, inside that uh, machine that dump memory and uh, what are the info these are the some some supported uh, plugin commands here you can see uh, that image info we can get uh, identify information for the image uh, image and uh, ps list what are the print all running processes by following the e process list and uh, we can get some uh, 
proc dump the dump process to an executable file sample so uh, I'm going to copy this path uh, in this file okay type directory these are the directories raw delinity in our row that image file so guys uh, now I'm going to get that image info inside this uh, Tilina row Tilina image uh, that dump member you need to type uh, volatility dash F you need to give that image name and image info so guys uh, this takes some time uh, one two three minutes uh, we need to wait for that let's see uh, the image info means uh, identify information for the image we need to identify what are the information inside that image that dub memory uh, we need to wait for some time so let's see okay guys uh, it's finished so actually you need to get a small malware for your first malware analyze don't uh, try to big malware so uh, I'll show you after this uh, uh, tutorial what are the website uh, you can get uh, freely available malware so these are the profiles include that uh, dump memory that, that image winxps uh, p2 and p3 so uh, we need to get information that inside that uh, profile so type volatility uh, dash f that image name and you need to get profile type uh, profile equal that this uh, profile name copy to that in here you can copy it uh, select all and right click profile and I'm going to get PS list the PS list mean uh, print all running processes by following the a process list you need to give PS list and press enter this also takes some time let's see we need to wait for that yes okay it is running what are the system running inside that um, Windows XP machine the services what are the services running <coughs> sorry and uh, VBOX services virtual box services what are the running inside that what are the PID uh, all the details include this uh, PS list what are the processes running so system SMSS wing log on every services running inside this processes that Windows XP machine these are the normal processes you can see but in this process this malware process is include you can see what are the same malware in uh, different processes uh, this is our dump dumped file the last process uh, now we need first we need to identify what is the malware these are the normal processors but these are different process uh, this these are uh, different name and default value so guys uh, now I'm going to give another command called uh, ps3 so uh, let's see let's see what is this ps3 so uh, ps3 means uh, print process list as a tree so now I'm going to give that uh, command uh, we need to give profile the same profile uh, and ps3 press enter let's see so it's take some time okay uh, this like a this is the 
uh, process tree so you can see some uh, systems that are uh, running processors so this is a parent uh, process these are the like uh, is child like uh, you can see these dotted uh, in here so uh, this is services.exe and uh, this is a system uh, inside that system running these uh, these processors up to this point uh, you can see this is uh, SMSS ext ex e file to uh, elsas exe this is uh, another uh, processor uh, explorer uh, inside that uh, process it is running these processors so this is that uh, malware infected uh, one so uh, so guys uh, now I'm going to get the path to find uh, where where these uh, malware uh, installed so for that uh, I'm going to give the command called uh, cmd line oh wait yeah cmd line display processes command line uh, arguments so then we can get a path where this uh, malware infected file installed this is that uh, hash value that malware so now I'm going to give that uh, command uh, volatility uh, dash f the file name then the, we need to give that uh, profile and uh, now we need to give that uh, command to get that uh, command line command to get a uh, path so you need to give uh, process ID to get that uh, path uh, then uh, give P then I'm going to give this process ID 1868 uh, 1868 and space uh, now you need to give that uh, command call command line cmd line then uh, press enter we need to wait so this is the uh, location that uh, path that uh, malware infected file installed the C document and settings the user and uh, my document software then this is the path that uh, malware infected file installed so this is how to find uh, the path so I'm going to uh, get a sample ex executable file so before that I'm going to create a new folder so guys uh, you can create a new folder you need to create a new folder and give a proper name so don't keep any spaces I'm going to give dump the folder name I'm going to copy the path in here we need to give the path so go to this volatility tool okay type volatility uh, dash f the file name fill in a row then you need to give profile profile uh, equal that copied uh, oops the mistake profile we need to copy that the same profile okay uh, copy it in here you need to give equal sign profile equal okay uh, now we you need to give that uh, proc dump command 
so that command mean uh, means uh, I'll show you this this command dump a process to an executable file sample I'm going to get that get that uh, I'm going to get that executable uh, sample type this command dump space give that process we need to give that this PI process ID I'm going to uh, going to give this this process ID this uh, malware process ID uh, yeah, yeah, I did a mistake with it guys Prop dump dash p 18 uh, okay now I'm going to give a directory uh, dash D so now I'm going to give that uh, directory path uh, you need to you, you can copy it in here the path now I'm going to give that path okay uh, press center it takes some time uh, so uh, let's wait that uh, yeah let's see that executable name okay this is that uh, executable name so you can see inside that uh, dump folder so now I'm going to run that uh, virus total you can get uh, what are the virus what are the malware inside that executable file so you need to choose that uh, created executable file open it and upload uploading we need to wait to scan it let's see what are the inside this folder yeah you can see is a very unsafe backdoor trojan malicious let's see uh, yeah is is include 50 engines detected this file this is a malicious trojan host Trojan backdoor these are the malware malicious code inside this file so this is how to do a simple malware analysis using volatility tool so do it your own malware analysis so thank you guys and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video and please share and comment so Thank you guys.